Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here, and I've uh, got a little bit of gaming news for you. We start things off with Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, this is a PC MMO type game. Uh, it's going to be completely massive. Uh, at E3, uh, some of the guys who went from Battle Strats came back and said, you know, Star Wars The Old Republic looked like one of the best games there. Uh, there's going to be six different classes, and each one of these classes has gameplay up to 200 hours. So it's going to be completely crazy. Probably, if you pick this up, I probably would. Probably will never see you again. The Bed Intruder song has finally made its way to Rock Band 3. It's available for $2. And I, I don't know, is, is it me or is $2 a little too expensive? Uh, I mean, it's an older song. Uh, $2 for a song. I mean, iTunes, you can go pick a, a song up for a dollar. And uh, with that dollar, I mean, you've, you own it. So you can put it on an MP3 player. You can burn it to a CD. Whereas if you buy it on Rock Band, you just can only play it on your system and you're paying twice as much for it so I think it's a, a, a rip off but whatever. Body Count, Codemasters first person shooter finally got some uh, release dates comes out September 2nd in Europe and August 30th for North America. Earlier this week there was a shareholders meeting the president of Nintendo got up and said you know look uh, we know why the core gamers didn't go pick up the Wii. Uh, we sold great with a general audience, uh, but it, it never did have that following like the Xbox and, and PlayStation 3 has uh, has come to follow, like online with multiplayer games, etc. And uh, they said, you know, we don't, we know that they didn't come because they didn't have a, a hard controller that you have in your hands. They didn't want to go to motion controllers uh, only, and the Wii didn't have HD. Uh, but they said with the Wii U, they think they're going to be able to pick up those core gamers back. And uh, Activision, uh, there was an interview with Bobby Kotick uh, earlier this week where he said, finally, with the Wii U, they're excited about it because they're finally going to be able to deliver deep, rich multiplayer experiences uh, on the Wii U that they just haven't been able to with the Wii. So I think it's a safe bet that you're going to see all the big games. Uh, EA's already said they're going to be on the Wii U uh, day one. Uh, they're going to have a lot of titles out. I think it's going to be safe to say that you're going to be able to play Battlefield, Call of Duty, whatever on the Wii U and you're going to get the same experience or at least better probably uh, because it's going to be a more powerful console. Uh, all these people who are saying, you know, um, the graphics aren't as good and everything, we haven't even seen the graphics, but they've already said that, you know, it's going to be more powerful, which it should be, uh, than uh, the Xbox and, and PS3. So. I think some people are jumping to conclusions way too early with the Wii U and just totally dismissing it when you really shouldn't. And when you, we should at least wait and uh, see what they they have to offer. But uh, it does depend a, a lot on how they set up the multiplayer component. You know, if they're going to have a system like Xbox Live or, or uh, the PlayStation Network, they're going to have to get that down. And they've had a lot of years uh, to see what works and what doesn't. So we'll just have to wait and see. Rage, we've got a uh, trailer showing the behind-the-scenes behind look at Rage on Battle Strands. You can go check that out. Uh, one of the features that they mention uh, in the trailer is the fact that they're running at a really high frames per second, 60 frames per second. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Modern Warfare 3 is claiming that their competitive edge over Battlefield 3 is their frames per second because they are also running at 60 frames per second. So Battlefield 3 has already said on consoles, you know, it's going to be 30 frames per second, which is what the majority of the games on console are running at. To me, this is really a, a weak argument, in my opinion. I'd like to hear what you think about it. Uh, there are several videos and places you can go online and uh, just do a search. 60 frames per second compared to 30 frames per second. And you'll see lots of different videos. Um, to me, I really can't even tell the difference uh, unless you go into slow motion. And then you can tell that with 30 frames per second, it kind of blurs it just a little bit, but not enough where it's really uh, diminishing the gameplay. Uh, and, um, you know, Bad Company 2, it was 30 frames per second, and I have no problem with it uh, whatsoever. Uh, and I believe that the majority of gamers, if you say, you know, Battlefield 3 is only going to run at 30 FPS, they probably don't even know what the heck you're talking about. Uh, so I, I doubt it's going to be that big of a deal. But Modern Warfare 3 is definitely trying to make it a deal um, because they feel that that's one edge that they have 
over their competition. They did come out and say one thing though that I'm going to have to agree with them on. Uh, they said, look, you ship a game and not an engine. And it was a clear direct blow at uh, Battlefield 3 who, if you listen to the interviews they give, every interview talks about Frostbite 2. Frostbite 2 engine, uh, they're really pushing this engine and what it's capable of. Uh, Whereas, I, I guess also, the, the engine has also held them back because it's so powerful that they can't get more than 24 players. The same can be said for Modern Warfare 3. You ship a game, um, not a game based on higher frames per second. And uh, finally, if you're still looking for uh, Modern Warfare uh, news, you can check out the uh, Battle Strats Annihilation review of uh, the map pack that recently came out earlier this week for uh, Black Ops. You can check that out. We've gotten a full review on there and uh, we were also giving away a few free codes so it's not going to cost you anything if you pick it up from Battle Strats. You can check that out uh, if they haven't um, already given the codes out already. So thanks for watching. This wraps it up for this week's video uh, or today's video. Who knows? I might put out another video today. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, comment, like. Thanks for watching.